Yep, fish on. Oh, there's one. On the small pole. Yep, it's on. Fish on. It's already on. Fish on. No way. On the drop. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Oh, it's big. It's fighting hard. Check out that catfish. What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. So yesterday I went out on the boat and I jumped from spot to spot. I went all over the lake and I did not see a single fish on the fish finder. It was super weird. So that got me thinking maybe I should just pick one spot and stick there all day. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to pick one cove and stay there all day. I got minnows. I'm also going to throw some artificial lures and see what we can do. But uh, let's head out to the lake and go do some fishing. All right, we're going to start off today with dropping down some minnows. Boom. So we're going to have live bait and throw some artificial for some bass. The live bait will hopefully catch some walleye and crappie or anything. Today's goal is to figure out this cove or creek or whatever you want to call it to this lake. Boom. There's one. All right, so these poles have a double minnow rig so we're throwing two minnows on this pole i have a dead one floating in there already so let's go ahead and throw that on and we'll throw that on with a live minnow a big one so it'll get some movement in that dead one also i have some bluegill today as well so if we want to use some bluegill we have the option but right now i'm just going to stick with some minnows let's drop this one up here How freaking deep is this? 35 feet. Didn't think it was that deep right here. Should we keep fish today? I actually thought about doing a catch and cook on the boat today, but honestly, I kind of want to figure out this cove, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Nothing yet. What about y'all? They're heading back there. Are they? I'll try it out. Not hot and heavy, but they were in. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now that those people left, I can go where I wanted to go, which is far back in that creek. They said that they were heading that way and they were biting, but they are also leaving that spot. So it may not be as good as they say it is, but we're definitely going to go try. I've never fished this cove before, so this is a good place to start this little or in the lake series this is cool it actually wraps around back here oh it doesn't go back too far though just a nice little cove back here all right let's drop our minnows down got a fish yep fish on Fish on, baby. About time. Oh, it feels good, too. It feels real good. Jesus. This guy has been in the pole. Oh, walleye. Nice walleye, too. Really nice walleye. Heck, yeah. Oh, come on up here, buddy. Not bad for the first fish of the day. This guy is not happy. There she is, boys. First fish of the day. Uh, should I keep this guy? Yeah, let's keep him. Do I have a measuring tape right here? I sure do. She is, oh yeah, she's over 17 inches. She's a keeper, we'll keep it. Or at least keep it in the live well for now. Thank you, buddy. Let's turn the aerator on. Alright, first fish of the day in the live well. Like I said, it's been real slow. Uh, I've been throwing around the grub, some paddle tails. Haven't had much luck. Turn around and this pole was bent. I drop it back down and hopefully catch some more walleye. That walleye was the first fish I ever put in my live well. 
It's only 10 feet deep right here too. It's not very deep. I'm gonna start throwing around this big paddle tail. Go for some bass while these minnows do their work. There she is. No. You gotta be kidding me. How did I miss that? There's no way. What? Dang it. Oh, that sucks. Now it's all tangled. Not good. I definitely should have had that one. That was my mistake. I don't know if I just set the uh, hook wrong, but the pole was definitely bending down. Dang it. I guess I shouldn't have set the hook so fast to let it eat a little bit before I set it. Is it already on? Fish on? No way. On the drop. That is a big fish too. I just caught this guy on the drop. What? Heck yeah, nice walleye. Yes. On the drop, baby. That I deserve that one because I set that hook. I missed it when it should have been on. I undid my mess, my tangle, dropped it back down, and we got on this walleye. Yes, baby. This one isn't as big as the first one, but still a decent size. Let's go ahead and get a measure on it. Under 16, but here in Texas, you can keep two under 16, so that is a keeper. We will call it out if we need to. There's your, there's your friend, buddy. All right, I'm pumped. Let's get this guy back out there. On the drop, dude. I thought I was stuck. I hit bottom, thought I was stuck, and felt the tug. It was a fish on. That's what I like to see. Quick action. That's what y'all probably like to see too, huh? Y'all like to see action. I know I like to see action when I'm watching videos. You're probably wondering why I'm using a minnow box when I have two live wells. It's because I don't have plugs for the live wells just yet. First time I got minnows in this boat, I put in two dozen, I went to my spot, and I was left with two minnows, only two left. They all escaped out of the plug holes. Eventually I will get some plugs and some screens to cover the holes, but right now this is just a quicker method to use the minnow box. On the drop again would be pretty sick. I don't think it's possible though. Man, I must have hit that guy in the head and pissed it off or something. All right, let's finish getting this pole rigged back up. If I'm ever using only one minnow, it is always a Carolina rig. It's my go-to rig for one minnow. All right, we got the minnow poles all situated. Let's go ahead and throw this flashy swimmer and go for some bass. Oh, there's one on the small pole. Come on, be on. Yep, it's on. Fish on. On <laughs> this is a small pole. Oh, I love these little guys. Oh, we just we just freaking snagged a smallmouth. What? That sucks. That Oh god. It sucks that this foul hooked because it doesn't really count. Man, we just foul hooked a smallmouth, which really sucks because smallmouth in this lake are very, very rare. You rarely see them, but they're in here. I've never caught one. This is my first time ever catching one. And I foul hooked it, so technically it doesn't count, but we'll still get it on camera because it's cool. I have never caught a smallmouth in my life. Never seen one in this uh, lake either. So, Devin caught one on the docks the other day. But look at that guy. Pretty sweet. Smallmouth for the win. All right. We'll set him free. He's not very big, but whew, there he goes. Yeah, I would have loved to have caught that guy on like a jig or something because those guys fight hard. Minnow was bouncing right here. Dang it, man. I wish I wasn't foul hooked. Oh, well. We'll catch some more, hopefully. Wasn't fighting very hard either, but now I see why, because he was foul hooked. 
Snag him behind the gills. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, it's big. It's fighting hard. I'm glad I saw that because that pole was about to go in. Another walleye, heck yeah. Woo. That was sketchy. I really need to make a rod holder for this boat. Right now they're just kind of sitting wherever they're sitting. Not really locked in. That guy is pretty small. Like I said, we can keep 216, but if they're really small, I really don't want to keep them. But let's see. 15 and a half. We'll keep it. And if we will call it out, we'll call it out. But walleye number three in the live well. Oh yeah, thank you buddy. I like that water splashing. That was sick. <laughs> Is that one? No way. I need to clean my lens off real quick. Come on. If you're a fish, just take it. We about lost a dead eye custom to a walleye. Well guys, we made it home, but I caught four fish better than what I did yesterday. But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.